for today is quiet for much of the U.S. The only significant travel trouble spot could be in the southwest part of the country. 56% of people are going out of town for Christmas and about 10% of those are leaving today, leaving one last leg of travel before festivities. Here's a look at flight aware. This is showing all of the planes in the sky as I speak. News 8's Angelique Cockaday is around some of those at Indianapolis International Airport. Angelique, how are things looking at this hour? Hey, good morning. So far, it's so it's pretty good right now. It's not too busy, as you can see behind me. But listen, today is the best day of the holiday week to travel, followed by tomorrow, Christmas Day. These two days are also the cheapest days to book any last-minute flights. If you want to head over to Grandma's house, flights are ranging around $600 on average today and tomorrow. But listen, it's still the holidays, and the airport here is asking people to plan ahead and get here a little earlier than you normally would. I'm with Tony Vela from TSA Indiana. How are you this morning? Good morning. I'm doing fine. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. All right. So what tips do you have for people coming to the airport during holiday rush? Especially during the holiday season, it's a good idea to make sure you have enough time to process through the ticket line out front and the checkpoint. Uh, normally, it's a two-hour recommended time to get here that early. Mm -hmm. um, make sure that your liquids and gels and that stuff is not changed. It's 3.4 ounces is the maximum size limit that you can bring. Sure. And each passenger is allowed one quart size bag of those travel size. Right. Um, so cakes and cookies and pies are okay. Yep, that's a good idea to bring that stuff if you'd like to. You're taking it to grandma's. Right. Um, just be mindful that if you're bringing that stuff, if it has a large content of gels and right. creams and stuff like that, then uh, give yourself some uh, extra time sure. to come through. We might have to look at it a little closer. And planning ahead, what can people, what can folks do at home if they're coming to the airport today or tomorrow? Uh, it's a good idea to have your um, plans laid out. Um, the IND. Yep, the IND.com. That's a great way to check the parking status, see how much parking is left, sure. uh, check the wait times for the airport. Uh, it's a new new thing, and it's really, really helpful to passengers. Well, it's not too bad right now, but that can change any minute. There are two busy windows happening during holiday rush. One in the morning, which we're kind of over right now. We're kind of over that hump, and then again today and tomorrow between the hours of 4 and 6. Similar, similarly to the to the roads, if you're hitting the roads, that the worst day to travel is going to be Thursday. The AAA is saying you can see double the amount of traffic on those days, especially around Chicago and Detroit between the hours of 4 and 6 to 7 p.m. So just make sure you're you're planning ahead and leaving that extra time for now. Back to you. Yeah, just take it easy. Get where you need to go safely and uh, less stress that way. Angelique, thank you. In case of any weather issues,